And this is my new shelf that I just built for my peppers inside my little greenhouse. I've got a pretty wide variety of peppers here. I've numbered them all and they're in a database based on those numbers. So as you can see there, 68. Uh, they are indeed counted linearly, so there is Actually, I've got a grand total of 70 some odd varieties. A few of them didn't really do very well. I'll give you an example here. Uh, here, this for example. This, number 17, whatever it is, I can look it up later, put it in the comments perhaps. Uh, this was planted at the same time as all of these. And they've all received pretty much the same treatment. Uh, same nutrients, uh, same amount of water, same amount of light, etc, etc, etc. I grew some of these in these little uh, jiffy pots, uh, and I don't know, they're not, I'm not as happy with them. They, uh, they almost universally went a little on the spindly side, and they received the same light as the other peppers, so it's not because of lack of light. It's something about the pots, I don't know if it's pH, uh, nutrients, um, how the soil dries out because uh, the, the pot is porous, I'm not sure. Long story short, I don't think I'll be using them again. Some of the peppers did very well in these pots. Uh, I posted a picture earlier, I believe, of one with some nice roots coming out the bottom. Uh, number 46, yeah, I think that's the one that I posted earlier. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head which one that was. Um, again, I can look up the comments, or I can put it in the comments, rather. Um, these tall ones back here, let's see if I can pull one out here. These are the um, El Salvador bird's eye peppers that I was talking about so much uh, in the community. Um, I've got a whole bunch of them and they all did very well. They grow very differently from the other peppers as you can see they're tall and kind of compact and bushy uh, and, and really if you look at the distance between nodes, because that's always one of the metrics, right? The distance between nodes, getting to the light here, is it's nice and close. So uh, it, they're not spindly. They just grew a dense, tall foliage. I thought that was kind of interesting. Over on the other side, I have here, this uh, is a tomato. Uh, I bought it from Home Depot, actually. Um, let's see. So just some salsa hybrid. Kind of looks a bit like a Roma tomato, which is why I bought it. And it came this size. I mean, I bought this just the other day. It's giant. I've never bought a pepper from, I mean, a tomato from a hardware store that was that big. This one's doing nicely. Look at the, the nodes there are all sprouting. So I can probably, I might end up topping this one. It's a little late in the season to be topping small plants. The other one beside it, it's kind of gnarly. I don't know why it went gnarly. And this is a basil plant that I bought from Home Depot. And here's a sweet pepper. It looks kind of like my cherry bombs, only they're sweet. So I figured I'd give them a try. Um, again, it's a pretty big plant. I did notice that the distance between nodes is rather large, and they obviously didn't top them. Um, but uh, what a thick stalk on this thing. This is. I don't know, I'm guessing it was grown in the greenhouse the whole its whole lifespan. And then this one here, sweet pepper, some kind of some kind of skinny sweet pepper. And you can see there's pods coming here. And some of them have purple on them. I don't know what the deal is with those, but I bought them because they look nice. And uh, let's go take a quick peek at my raised beds. breezy up today. As you can see, I have pots in amongst my bedded peppers. So this whole front half, that's all uh, cherry bombs, these ones. And this obviously, you know, a few varieties in here. This one here was an overwintered plant, actually. And uh, it, uh, it did okay. I'm, I'm impressed with how it did. And then 
Uh, I've got two more overwintered. These are cascabellas over here. And as you can see, uh, they went a little funky. You know, um, I've got, you know, a, just about dead stock. I probably should cut that one off. Uh, this one here, as you can see, is just loaded with, with uh, pods. These are a little smaller than they were last year, so it's the same plant. Uh, probably, I'm guessing, a little short on nutrients, maybe. It's uh, exhausted the soil, I'm guessing. And then, back half. This is another overwinter here. Uh, this one, I believe, was a cherry bomb, actually. I can't really tell right now, and the label's gone, so I don't know. It could be that, or it could be an um, uh, orange BB Bell, which I had a few of. Most of my overwinters died. This one here, this is my overwintered res red Fresno, and you can see it's got a pod growing on there. It kind of looks a little gnarly, the whole plant does. Uh, but it's, you know, it, it's grown a pod, so whatever, I'll let it do its thing. And I've got a few of these, these pots here. I've put three. Uh, I, again, I can't remember which one's which. This is number 34. Uh, I'm certainly willing to put comments. Um, and then this one here, uh, all of these here are all scotch bonnets. Uh, I like scotch bonnets. They're hot, but they're tasty. And then I've got, and this one here, this middle one, this is an overwinter. Um, and I don't remember what it is. Maybe an Anaheim. It's tough to say. It's kind of looking a little gnarly. Some of its leaves are looking a little beaten up. I'm wondering if there's maybe a nutrient deficiency. All the new leaves are looking pretty good though. So, I don't know. I'm thinking some of this damage might have been leftovers from pests because all of my overwintered plants were hit pretty hard by thrips, aphids, fungus gnats, and spider mites. So, you know, number 19. And you can see that my scotch bonnets are all producing pods here. Some of them I topped, some of them I didn't. As you can see, this one here was topped, and another one beside it was not. I kind of figure by mixing and matching, I'll get a few pods early, and then I get some maybe later in the season I'll get some. We'll see. This is my first time trying that technique. Um, another one of my multi... It's all three of one kind. Um, lots of little pods starting on some of these. This one here... I did a different technique with topping this one. Instead of cutting it at here, which is where I would have trimmed it normally, uh, I trimmed it higher up a couple of times, like here and here, and uh, it's kind of doing a what? All right, and this is the number 31. These ones are my ricottos, or manzano, depending on uh, what document you read. Um, yeah, I can't remember which one it was actually labeled, but it seems to be doing okay. Uh, it had a little sunburn, you can see here. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but that's sunburnt. I put it out a little early, and they notoriously don't like the heat, and it's been, you know, 30-some degrees Celsius here over the last few days. It's cooler today, a little more cloud today, so we're looking at, I don't know, 24, 25 degrees Celsius. Um, so this one here, this number 21, was planted at the same time as all the rest of these don't know why it's little. Uh, again, same story as before, received all the same light, etc, etc, etc. And all of my 21s went like that. These ones here, um, I've mostly single planted, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dig them up and, and pair them up. Uh, because it seems like they're going to stay, you know, manageable size. So. I can probably squeeze twice as many in here. And there's, there's a few I've already doubled up. There's two number 12s here. There's number 11, number 11, so on and so forth. Um, again, most of these are not topped. Uh, and this one here is a Bulgarian carrot. I was going to top them, but it was producing such a good pot. I thought, you know what, let's just let her, let her buck. Maybe we'll get some seeds out of it for next year. Got these from the grocery store. They came looking pretty good. I topped both of them and uh, trimmed some of the leaves off down below and it's putting out some pretty good shoots. The one that actually has a bud on it. I might have to uh, take the scissors to this, these plants. 
I don't know. I might let it buck. We'll see. And then this is actually probably my favorite bed. Um, has the most variety. Uh, a lot of these, a lot of the white you see here, is actually flowers coming off of that tree. But uh, this one here is a 7JPN from uh, White Hot Peppers. Anyway, it's a beautiful plant, and I will definitely be saving seeds and planting them again next year. If for no other reason than it's a gorgeous plant and it's doing well. So that's the number 57. And then I have a number 32 over here. Um, yeah, so that's number 32. And uh, let's see. This is a number 2, and it's doing fabulously well. And not as big and glorious as some of you guys on the community, but as you can see, I've got some yellow going on here. Um, probably some nutrient deficiency. Um, so I'll have to look into that. But I, again, they're all receiving the same thing, so every plant is different. That's, that's why I wanted to take this video, is just to uh, just to show, uh, especially the, the rookies, because I'm, I'm more or less a rookie too, but I'm kind of learning as I go. This one here has received the same water as all the rest of them, but it has some edema going on on some of those leaves. So that's interesting. And, uh... So I've got a couple more of those plastic, the long plastic um, pots, one or two that I'm going to fill up and put three, three of those from the greenhouse into them. And uh, some of my peppers I'm going to want to try to overwinter. And this is one of them here. This is the Trinidad scorpion that was given to me uh, by a local greenhouse. Uh, I'm probably going to take these bottom leaves off. and. I don't know, I'm probably not going to top it. Although, if you look inside there, there's some nice uh, branch buds coming off the nodes there. So I'm probably, I don't know, torn. Maybe uh, I'll ask on the uh, the old internets there and see what people have to say. Um, that's a number 24. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's what i got going on. Any questions, comments, please let me know.